The Pirate and His Goddess. This quest unlocks pirate ship trading. The time limit for this quest is four days. If you complete the time limit, you unlock dreadlocked hair with an eye patch and pirate bandana and tattoos for your adult sims. A lot of the goals in this quest require a teen, so make sure you've got one to be able to complete this quest in the time limit. Visit the island. Go to the mysterious island. Call five sims to the community centre. Use the whistle to bring five sims to the community centre. You built the community centre during the multi-storey renovations quest. Call a team to the community centre. When I started this quest, I only had a toddler. I had baked two birthday cakes ready for this. So what I had to do was click on the toddler and select have birthday and then I used one of the birthday cakes to age them into a preteen and then on the preteen I clicked have birthday again and then I was able to use another birthday cake to age them into a teenager. Then I could go to the community centre and use the whistle to bring the teen to the community centre. Have a teen play a sea shanty on the piano. There is a keyboard at the community centre. You need to click on this and select the option. Have five sims sitting in front of the podium. So click on the chairs in front of the podium and select the option. You can cancel the action once they're all sitting as it will complete the goal straight away. Host the town meeting. An adult sim needs to click on the podium and select the option. Make an espresso. There is a coffee machine at the community centre, out the back, where the sand pit is. Object at the podium. Click on the podium and select object. Power cord presentation. An adult sim needs to use the teacher's blackboard at the community centre. Have a teen look at the pirate. Bring a teen to the community centre and there you'll find the pirate. Click on the pirate to select the option. Have a team to talk to the pirate. Again, click on the pirate. Talk to the pirate again. Have a team give a speech at the podium. Click on the podium and select the option. Search Sim Town and find the pirate. Maybe look in the park. Call a teen to the park. Use the whistle to bring a teen to the park. Hide in the public toilet at the park. A team needs to do this. Ask about the journal. Have a team click on the pirate and select the option. Look at the pirate's journal. Again, click on the pirate. Solve the first riddle. 
A man with a heart of stone ponders upon his stony throne, surrounded by knights and kings alike. The clue is the colour he most likes. When you click on the pirate, you'll have four options. The options are the different colours, so yellow, orange, purple or brown. The riddle is talking about the thinking man statue. So if you click on the thinking man statue, you'll get the option to search for clues. This will give you a clue and it will say his favourite colour is a mix of two colours, blue and red. So the colour is purple. I didn't search for clues because I already knew the answer to this riddle because I've done it before. So if you know the answer, then you can just select the option. You don't have to search for the clues. So click on the pirate and select purple. Joke around with the pirate. Click on the pirate and select the option. Have a team talk to a friend about pirates. Select the interaction between two sims. One of them has to be a teenager. Find the pirate. Look at the stables this time. Say hi to the pirate. Click on the pirate and select the option using a teenage sim. Solve the second riddle. In a place of everlasting winter, Kindle lies dormant. As the fire ignites and the room fills with light, the lost page shall appear when the elephant's trunk is raised day and night. Upon this page, the most ancient password will allow the goddess to finally rise. The place of everlasting winter is the snow park. If you don't have the snow park yet, you don't need to build it for this. Just keep on watching and I will tell you the answer to this riddle. If you do have the snow park, you can find the clues by going to the snow park and clicking on the fireplace. And selecting ignite kindling. You'll have completed the first part. For the second part, you need to go to the place where the elephant's trunk is raised. And that is the swim centre, where the toddler's paw is. Once you've done the first part of the clue, you'll be able to go there and find a gift box. Click on this and in the clue it says the answer, which is admin. So now you need to go back to the stables, find the pirate again and click admin. Have a team dance with the pirate. Ask the pirate why he is upset. Convince the pirate. Select please stay on the pirate. Tap the ancient goddess monument on the island. To so go to the mysterious island and click on the, the ancient goddess, which can be found near the beach. You can see where it is exactly in the video. Send your team to the park and you'll find the pirate here as well. Say goodbye, click on the pirate and select talk, they'll have a cute little dance. And then the quest is complete. 
For those wondering if the pirate will return, he hasn't so far, but maybe he will one day. Now you've completed the quest, you've unlocked the pirate ship trading and the ancient goddess monument, which is what you've clicked on during the quest. If you completed the quest in the time limit, you unlock the pirate fashion pack. This contains tattoos, which can be found in the tattoo and makeup section, and it also contains dreadlocked hair with an eye patch and pirate banana, which can be found in the hair section for your adult sims. The Ancient Goddess Monument is like the other monuments. You use resources to upgrade it, but these resources are gems and you can only get the gems when you trade using the pirate ship. So you'll trade other resources that you use to build the other monuments, as well as LPs, SPs and simoleons. You can trade them for the gems that you need to build the Ancient Goddess Monument. Once you have the gems you need for that level, you can upgrade the monument. If the pirate ship isn't there, it means trading is unavailable. You can call the pirate ship back, but this will cost you LPs, or you can just wait for it to return. There are 25 levels. Once you have fully built the monument, you will earn bonus hobby skill points after any hobby interaction. So that means your sims level up faster in those hobbies. Also, once built, you will earn a one LP reward twice a week. Click on the monument during the certain times to collect your reward. The next quest is the Road to Fame. This quest requires a teenage sim again, and it unlocks a new hobby for teenagers, called the Teen Idol Hobby. Thanks for watching. Bye!